Hi, welcome to tutorial 9, tutorial 8 actually. Okay, so we've developed this uh, uh, elevation. We're not sure which is the front of the house. Well, let's say the front of the house is the door, so that would be the front elevation. So we've, we've developed the right side elevation. Okay, and we can do that with some text. Let's go zoom. Okay, let's uh, copy this text. Okay, and apostrophe zoom, and extents, E for extents. Okay, so we've gone to our drawing. Okay, we're going to turn ortho off. We're going to press F8, ortho's off. We're going to put it down here. Um, we're going to escape out of it. Zoom in. Okay, I don't know why I got two, but I'm going to erase one of them. Okay. I'm going to ED edit okay, um, this text and I'm going to say uh, we said that that was the uh, right. Oh, we'll turn cap locks on. Okay, right uh, side elevation. Enter. Well, not enter. We'll just click anywhere. Okay, now when we click on this. Uh, we were still in edit, so let's get out of edit. We'll escape to get out of edit. We'll click on it, and we'll just make it bigger, so it's all one line. Okay. Now, um, if we get back into ED and click on it, it's um, done with Arch 4. Now, we can make a new text style, and we could call it Arch 10, let's say, to make it nice, great, big letters. Let's see what happens here if we... Um, change it to 10. Okay, go OK. And it didn't happen. Okay, I'm going to escape out of here. I'm going to get into properties. Um, I don't think we set up an abbreviation for properties yet, or I can't remember what it is, so I'm just going to type in props. That brings up my properties dialog box. And click on it. And here it's style arch 4 height. Okay, let's just change it to 10 inches. Okay, now it's big. Okay, click on it, make it all one line. Okay, now I'm just going to copy that as I make the different views. I'm just going to copy it and update it as I go around. Okay, another couple of things here. Um, let's move this okay, out of my way a little bit. Okay, this line that represents the ground. When I plot this, I want this to be a very, very heavy line. And I could do it with line weights in its layer. Okay, so I can go and where was make a layer? That was over this one, I believe. And it takes a minute. Okay, so if we make a new layer, which was this one, and we call it ground. Um, okay, we give it a color that we know it's on the ground layer so let's do something like that color okay okay um, I'm not sure what happened there okay get out we've made ground um, okay let's select all of these lines and turn them back on to zero oh I see what we've done we have turned uh, layer zero to red. Okay, well, let's go back in here. Um, okay, there's ground. I clicked on the wrong one, I guess. Okay, we'll make that uh, that pretty color right there. Okay, we'll go to zero <coughs> and make it white again. Okay. Okay. Now I can get out of here. Okay, this one right here. Uh, we can change it up here, but we can also change it color by layer. Layer is zero. Let's change it to the ground layer. Okay. Okay, so that worked. Now I want this a very, very heavy line. And so uh, I can change it into a, a P line, a poly line. Um, then when I have it into a poly line, I could uh, edit that poly line. And we're just going to skip right through to polyline edit, which is PE or P edit. Okay, PE, let's see if that works. 
Uh, now it's asking me it did work and down on the bottom of the command prompt it's asking me um, to select the polyline. So I'm going to select this line and it says well it's not really a polyline do you want to turn it into one and I'm just going to accept yes. Okay so I'm going to press enter. Now we've turned it into a polyline so we can do we have all of these different selections here all the different things that we can do. Right and I'm just going to change the width of it and new width for all sec okay maybe it wasn't width okay to enter it was okay you see how that's a, a two inch line now it stands out it shows our ground okay it's the same as every all the other lines it had nodes to it okay um, below the ground in uh, any house you have a foundation okay um, if it's a full basement foundation it could be a eight foot foundation um, it could be just a crawl space it could be a four foot foundation here in Western Canada the minimum um, that a footing can be is four feet below frost so we're just we're gonna draw a foundation here we're gonna zoom right into here we're just gonna draw a line okay and straight down so I'll turn F8 back on and we will go down uh, four feet below the ground okay so four feet enter okay now typically a foundation is poured out of concrete and is eight inches thick okay so we're going to draw another line going in this direction uh, eight inches okay and then back up to uh, our ground you can see here I'm, I'm using perpendicular um, the O snap and I'm just going to click. Okay, below that footing, below that wall underneath the ground is a footing that runs all the way around the building. Okay, now here again in Western Canada our footing is 18 inches wide and 8 inches deep. Okay, so I can draw that. I can draw a rectangle. Okay, I can start anywhere. Okay, now I can tell AutoCAD that I want to go from that point, so at Okay, is what I punch in. Uh, so from that point, I want to go 18 inches in the X. X is always first, 18, comma to tell AutoCAD that this is the other, um, this is the Y. Okay, so 18 wide by 8 high. So enter 8 and then enter. Okay, so there's a rectangle that represents it's a cross section actually of my footing. Okay, um, I can. The difference between 18 and 8 is 10 inches, and half of that is 5. So I want this footing right in the middle of the wall, so it's going to stick out 5 inches on either side. So I'm going to offset 5. Okay, and I'm going to click it there. I'm going to move this little puppy from that corner to there. Okay, I'm going to erase my construction line. Okay. Um, there's a few other things when we're doing a house plan that we would sh that we would represent here, but for now, um, we have represented there is no um, basement the way that this goes. This is just a crawl space, okay, um, or a footing underneath. Okay, so I am going to stretch, and I'm going to select all of these. Okay, you see how I've, I've got the ends of those two lines. I'm going to go from um, this point, okay, right on the corner of my footing, which was four feet below the ground. I'm going to go straight down, and I'm going to go another four feet. Okay, so that represents something that would have a full basement in it. Okay, now if this were a cross section, and I would show the slab, this concrete slab, um, I might lower my ground so that I could get some windows in here. Um, and I would sh just show the ground on either side here but because this is an elevation and I'm just representing um, I'm showing the builder that that we do have a foundation here I'm going to draw it in as a dotted line so I'm going to uh, select all of these okay did we make a layer called hidden uh, I don't believe we did okay uh, let's do that. Let's make a new layer. Uh, I hit the wrong button. OK, 
Okay, let's do that. Let's call it hidden HID. Okay, let's make it. I like it red. Where's red? Here we are. Okay, and line type. I want to go with hidden. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to put all of these things. Um, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to put them on the hidden layer. Okay. Okay. Now again, um, that may or may not be the hidden line that I, I, I could change this. Remember when we were doing door up here? Uh, we changed the way that that was represented. We can go in here and instead of line type scale being 1, I believe we put it to uh, 0.3 and enter. Okay, that makes it look a little more like uh, the way I'd like to see it. Okay, so here we've just dotted in a foundation. We've shown it. It's, it, it is there, but we're not really representing it at this point because it's not a cross section. Okay. Um, let's go, let's do a roof here. Okay. So we have to uh, establish a roof pitch. And typically the customer has picked that out already or um, maybe you're working off a picture of an existing house. Roof pitches are, are done in uh, so many feet high in so many feet uh, long. Okay, so typically here in Western Canada we use um, a roof pitch where the height is first, the length is second, and the length is typically 12. So if I were to draw a 412 roof pitch, that means it would go up 4 feet uh, in height in 12 feet long. Okay, um, that's exactly, we could do a 412 or a 512, let's do a 612, okay? Uh, which would be 6 is half of 12, so that's actually going to be a 45 degree angle. But um, to draw this, I'm just going to go line. Okay, I'm going to start at this point. I'm going to say at. Okay, so tell AutoCAD from that point, I want to go 12 inches in the X, comma, and I want to go 6 inches in the Y, enter. Okay. So basically, if I escape out of here, there's a line um, 45 degrees or a 612 pitch on this roof. Okay? I, uh, there's all sorts of ways of doing this. I can mirror okay, this line. Okay? So I select it. Uh, press spacebar. Okay? If I pick the center of this uh, wall, and I go straight up as my axes. You can already see on the right hand side um, that I'm going to get a representation uh, of that 612 pitch on the other side. Okay, click. Okay, do I want to erase my source, my first line? No. Okay, so I'm going to accept that as my default. Then I'm going to fillet, F for fillet. I'm going to take this line and this line. And there is my 612 roof. Okay, so um, typically if we're building with trusses, again, we're not doing the cross section, we're doing the elevation, but we want to represent this properly. Um, the heel of the truss, as it sits on top of this wall, uh, would be anywhere from five and a half to six inches, depending on the manufacturer. Okay, so I'm going to uh, offset uh, six inches, and I'm going to take this line, my top of wall, and say okay well that's where the truss is going to sit okay so I'm going to move this from there to there and I could do the same thing here okay so that would be my truss my my uh, cord on my truss okay my top cord would be a two by four so offset four inches okay Okay, so typically that's the top of my roof, okay, right there. And if I was drawing the cross section, I would just continue to draw this truss, okay, four inch cord at the bottom um, with a six inch heel, okay. But what I'm doing here in elevation is I'm establishing the very top of that truss, so the top of my roof. So if I erase.